Hey guys, I wanted to bring you guys my fourth episode of the How To Chem series, and on this one it's going to be Freight Blitz, and I'm saying if you're offending from this side that I just started on, so we'll go right into this and start with the spawn points. Spawn points are very important. Uh, a spawn's right here, this one's not too common. If they spawn right here, it's because you're blocking other spawns, so you basically either want to be sitting there or not blocking the other spawns, hopefully your team doesn't do that. There's one right here, one right there, one right here, and then back here. There's also some more ones, but the other ones aren't that common. These are all the ones I'm saying that are people spawning a lot. Right here, right there. Uh, these two bones back here are common if you're blocking the other two spawns if they don't spawn outside over there. So that's why I've seen if you're blocking that one and these ones, uh, the one all the way on that far corner that I was showing you originally, the very first one, um, and they'll spawn back here if these ones aren't being blocked. Um, there's also, I think, a spawn point right here and a spawn point back there. There may be one right here that's somewhat common, but I'm not sure if uh, that one is used too often. There should be one right here, but again, it's not that common. Um, so after that, I'll go into the different ways to approach trying to get a chem, like the strategies to use, I guess. Um, the most basic one is to start right here. And this is because you have three different entrances that they're trying to, or exits rather, from their spawns that they're trying to get to you from. There's one down there. I wouldn't focus on that one quite as much because it's farther away, obviously hard to get the kill, and you can get caught from people that are closer from you while you're trying to reload from killing them, etc., etc. Um, but the spawn that is right on the other side of the fence is really, really common. This one won't be quite as common when you're here, but it's still possible depending on where your teammates are in blocking the spawns. But um, that makes it so there's a lot of people that will spawn right there, and they'll run out this door, and it's pretty free kills for you. If you hear them spawn and running, you can even pre-fire them through this wall right here. With that being said, even though you can pick up a lot of kills from there, you still have to be aware that they can come out of this door. Because if you're standing right here and looking here, and they come out of that door, they can go around here, and then they get a pretty free shot on you, especially when you're reloading. But there's not a whole lot to be said about this one. You just basically want to hang out in this general area. You can do this and stuff. I wouldn't recommend it doing too much if you're on a streak because you kind of have a, uh, a worse vantage point, I want to say. There's not a whole lot for you to do if you're up here and you get caught with your pants down. But with, I also want to mention one inside of the three-story. The one inside three-story is pretty good to integrate with this one. Use both of them at the same time, interchange them a little bit. I usually do this one off the start to try to get on a lead because they're more aggressive kills, more kills coming right off the start, but you can also go back in here. When you're inside the three-story, I recommend having this one closed. The main reason I say that is because, one, they either can't go through it because I don't think they can travel through walls on this game yet. It's not Shadow Run, but it's possible. I don't know. I've seen weirder things on duty, but the thing is, if they do try to go through there, you'll hear them open the door, so it's not like, oh, where are they at? They're opening a door. It's either that one or that or this one right here. If it's that one, you don't really have a whole lot to worry about because they still have to open that one to get in here from that side. But basically up here, you just want to try to move around a little bit on the railing. You can shoot them from right there, and then, uh, hey, so you say, hey, I killed a couple people here, maybe I should mix it up a little bit. You can use this as a bit of a head glitch. They can still shoot through it, it's just it's harder to see you. You just want to not stay in one spot the entire time. You don't want to just lay here and be like, hey, I'm just going to sit here until somebody realizes where I'm at, and the same person comes twice and gets the better shot on me. The one thing you have to be careful about on this is that they can still come up the ladder. You can hear them coming up the ladder pretty easily with Amplify on, but sometimes they'll catch you off guard a little bit. And like I said, this metal is really easy to shoot through, so you should be able to get the upper hand on them if they're still coming up the ladder when you catch them, but if they get up there, just be careful to try to maybe shoot them through the uh, bottom if you possibly can. Again, don't try to stay in one spot too much. If you get a lot of kills up there, maybe move back out here because they won't expect you to be quite as close back up to their spawns. But just something to think about. Try not to stay in one spot too much. That's that one, though. The second one I'll get into is pretty risky to do, but it is a lot of fun. You get a lot of kills this way. It's not quite as much for a chem. I mean, it can be done. I've gotten a couple like this, but they're pretty rare just because of how difficult they are with the spawns. <coughs> Excuse me. You basically just want to run around through here and look at this main spawn up as I said. This one and that one are the ones you're looking for on this side, and then in the back, too and then sometimes they'll come right here. When I'm doing this, I like to hang out in this area, um, like crouch in here when you're reloading, reload, hopefully you have sleight of hand on, and you get to pick off the kills as they come, and then just crouch in these corners, reload, move around again, check the spawn points, see who you can, pick off who you, whatever you can. Uh, when you're running back through here, you want to make sure that there's not somebody back through here, so I recommend checking that first and hearing, listening for people on the left side, 
and then running back over here. The reason I say that is because if you check on this side first and then run back to the left side, usually they'll be running towards this direction so they won't be able to shoot you in the back. Like I said, their spawn points here, it's just basically running around their spawn. Now it's really risky, it's something you might want to do to get the advantage, get a streak going if you're a little bit into the round a little bit and you just need kills in a quick hurry. The other one, this one is the one that I've been using a lot. It's It works really well for whatever reason. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because they think you're scoring because their defense is right here or what. But you basically just sit right in this area. You you can aim through people in here and then also go up here. A higher vantage point usually gets you the kills easier. I don't know why. It's just people have a hard time looking up in the sky or something. So it's a, it's a good spot for you to be in. But you can also rotate through here. Only thing you have to be careful of is you don't want to go through the blitz when you're doing this. You can go on all sides of this, do circles around it, just like you have enough room. But you just want to make sure that you don't go through it because it kind of ends the streak in a hurry. Uh, also, when you're doing this, if people start pushing you back too far, you can go through here. It usually mix it up a little bit because people will think that you're on this side still, so they'll start rushing in there and you can get the shot on them originally right through there. You can go through there, but I'd be kind of weary to do that because you're out in the open. Excuse me, I had a cough again. Um, you can just go over here too if you start getting pushed out of there. They come through here a lot. They're really easy here in this area and usually they don't come through this side too much because you usually have teammates on that side. That's the basic idea on that side. I'm going to go ahead and switch it up to this other side now. There's two basic ones I like to use on this side. And the first one is up here. You want to sit in this area right here and wait for them to come off through the right side or the bottom right here. They, there's a spawn point right back there. I'm sorry guys, I'm really struggling over here for with coughing for some reason. Spawn point right here, and spawn point right there, so that'll help you out a lot with people going right through there, and also just running straight up there. And you get a bunch of free kills from it. Uh, the spawn points over here, are they can also spawn in that middle building I believe right there, but that's one's pretty rare. The spawn points right here are back here, back there, back there, and in that corner, and I think there's also one right on the train tracks as well. The other spawns on this side are right here. This one's not nearly as mo more common as this one, but this one right here I see a lot, so this one ends a lot of streaks. On this side, the other one was pretty basic, that's why I didn't go too depth on it. You basically just sit there and wait for people to come through those two entrances. On this side, a good spot to sit is right here. You get a head glitch on them, they'll keep running up the ramp from the spawns that are back in this area, and you have the head glitch going through right right there. There are a lot of easy kills. You can also back it up to right through here. Um, it's hard to see people through the fire on this, so I wouldn't stick here too much because it's not good coverage for you, but usually people won't see you, so you'll have the advantage that way. You can also drop down here on this side and shoot through here. Again, another hit glitch. You can shoot through there, but you also have to make sure there's not people coming through the right side from that red car spawn or whatever when you're reloading. And I also like to rotate a little bit. Look through there. We have to watch your right side because there's only a sheet metal right here. And <coughs> with the rotations, I'll go up here sometimes, and you can look through there. The, uh, that spawn point in the left corner under the crate, that crate right there, is really, really common. So you'll see a lot of people coming through there. Up here, you really do have to be careful with people head glitching the red car back there. If they're head glitching that, you're usually not going to even have a chance to kill them. It's hard to kill people through there. It's just a worse shot, and they have a pretty easy one on you because you're completely in the open. But that's the idea on this map. I'm sorry I kind of went through a little bit quick, and I apologize for coughing a few times in it, but hopefully you guys get the idea. And be sure to let me know what you guys think of the video. If you guys have requests, questions, anything like that, I'd be happy to answer them in the comments. And be sure to leave us a uh, subscribe. I really do appreciate it. I'm trying to make these videos to help you guys out a little bit, and I'm going to be trying to come out with like other series or ideas, tips and stuff like that, more than just chems. But right now I'm trying to start with this, because I know that that's what a lot of people want to see. So make sure that you guys... Let me know what you guys are thinking, and I will be making more videos for you guys. Thanks for checking it out. I appreciate it.